This is iTrader in this trade example of the Russell TF futures contract. It is pre-market U.S. session hours. I am trading on a very low time frame of only 5 tick Irenko chart. This is the lowest time frame chart I would ever use to trade the TF Russell. I am buying a recent bounce off buy support and I have entered a three lot trade. I'm now placing my stop one tick below the recent price pivot. Next I will place targets at two separate initial pricing levels. I decided to take this trade since the bands had started to upturn, the market had built a level of recent price support and this most recent price pullback tested that recent price support and I decided to buy the first positive candlestick close after price had pierced through the bottom of the I bands and had now closed positive. The I bands is not showing a strong uptrend at this time and it is also not showing a downtrend, but I am willing to buy the retest of this recent support. As price trades to the other side of the I bands, I will be willing to then move my stop to break even. I am marking the area that I will be watching for price to trade to in which I would move my stop. In this case, I had a slight pullback and have just achieved a new higher price pivot and I will move the stop one tick below that new price pivot. I have reduced initial risk from six ticks to now only four ticks. I will not move the stop again until we get to the upper IBANS channel area. That is the location of price I want to see achieved before I would move the stop to break even. In this case the stop will now be moved to break even. This is now a risk free trade. The targets I'm trying to achieve are 20 and 40 ticks at this time. I will be ready to actively manage the initial two contract target as price reacts to the most recent pivot high. I am now locking in some additional profits to pay for commissions. The objective of this trade is to hit a minimum initial target of 2 to 1 reward to risk. In this case with a 6 tick initial stop and a 20 tick initial target I am beyond the 2 to 1 reward to risk. I will watch how price reacts to this recent high price pivot to ensure that I can lock in a minimum 2 to 1 reward to risk initial profit on the first two contracts. I will then actively manage the final contract accordingly. At this time price is very near retesting the recent upper price pivot. This is one benefit of geometric price action analysis is looking at these price patterns represented as angular lines. It is very easy to see recent upper and lower price pivots. Price is now trading above this recent pivot level and I will now actively manage the initial target to lock in profits. I am also actively moving up the stop to the upper I-bands level. I am now bracketing in the trade to maximize profits. I'm now holding the initial target. I'm holding it in a pending mode. Price did trade up to the level and fill. If price did not trade to that level, I would have been ready to drop the order and try to get the target filled to lock in maximum profits. I have adjusted the final stop to only one contract and I will now show the area where I will be looking to cover the second target.
I will box in the 30 to 40 tick level from the entry price. That is the final profit area I would like to target with this trade. In the meantime, I continually move the stop loss protective stop up in alignment with the upper I band. The 1139.70 level to the 1140.7 level would be my preferred area for taking the final profit. In this case, price is pulling back and I might get stopped out at my active stop, which is very near the upper I bands channel. Now that my stop has been hit, I will remove any final targets. I have marked the entry and exit points. And you can see in this trade example, the trade was able to achieve a 3 to 1 reward to risk. This was a visually intuitive trading example using the Indicator Incubator NinjaTrader 7 charting tools.